I love cases like this because to me, they demonstrate the most logical and pure form of pathology. And that means to take a tissue that you are familiar with, like this, you already know this is a prostate because of the stroma out here and the way the glands branch down here. To take a normal organ and to look at how uh, its normal histology or even gross appearance is changed, and on the basis of how it's changed, you can then give a diagnosis more logically and then ask yourself what kind of things was caused this, caused this. And this is exactly what we're going to do here. This is a normal prostate. This may be a little hyperplastic if you think this is a nodule, but the glands look very, very nice. They branch exactly like prostate should. They are all well separated from each other. At this point, I don't think anybody would ever look deeper to try to fight, uh, discern whether they're cancer because they are growing normally. Here's an, another area of prostate up here in which you could see, once again, prostate glands. But how is the normal architecture changed? Well, the main way it's changed is that if you look at some of these prostate glands, you could see that inside of them, they are filled with neutrophils. So, by definition, that is acute prostatitis. Normal prostate glands filled with neutrophils. And perhaps uh, could, there could even be some neutrophils surrounding them as well. We may find some. In addition, you could see that some of these glands are filled so nicely with neutrophils that they actually form little abscesses, uh, filling up the uh, glandular spaces and dilating them as well. There's a microabscess. Uh, there's a microabscess. There's a microabscess. In addition, you can see inflammatory cells in the stroma uh, and not completely within the lumen as well. This is acute prostatitis. Um, if you really wanted to add the term chronic as well, because you see that some of these inflammatory cells are lymphocytes, especially in the stroma, if you wanted to say acute and chronic prostatitis, you could do that. Uh, but if you would believe that the main process going on here is acute inflammatory cells kind of destroying uh, the integrity of these glands and perhaps even surrounding them as well, Rather than a few scattered lymphocytes, if you would prefer to just say acute prostatitis, I would prefer that. If you wanted to spend uh, six or seven hours looking at all these normal glands here too, uh, and seeing if any of them were growing haphazardly, proliferating uh, abnormally, or had a lot of nucleoli within the nuclei uh, to look for atypical or cancer, you could do that as well. Uh, and be my guest, but I can already tell you without having examined this gland very much, uh, you're not worried about a neoplasm as altering this normal histology. You are concerned chiefly with the inflammatory component. Acute prostatitis, uh, prostate being connected with the lower respiratory tract, would be most likely inflamed by the usual uh, gram-negative organisms that might affect uh, the respiratory, lower, res uh, ur lower urinary tract. Uh, so put that in your uh, bag of differential diagnoses, and thank you very much.